guys, Keeney here. So, I got an interesting list here. I'm sorry I didn't get one out for January. With me coming back to school, I needed to work twice as hard on classes, and truthfully, when I did work on map parts, I usually prioritized them before the reviewing of others. But I think I have some helpful advice to give, and I hope you'll enjoy this. The first YouTuber up is Jasper Gleam and their part here with me. When I first saw this part, I recognized it as great improvement for you. I'm very proud of you, son. I love the intense and saddening emotion for this. The most noteworthy part is probably the ending with Crowpaw mourning over Feathertail. That hit me hard in the feels. Anyway, I don't have too much to say on this part because the style is cute and your anatomy has improved. I have a few discrepancies with the tweening, even though I'm also just starting to get the hang of tweening and have no room to talk. Like the end where the other cats fade, I realized that's supposed to show they were probably leaving Crowpaw to grieve. Although the look on Squirrelpaw's face is more like, eh, I don't care as long as we still stop by McDonald's on the way home. But I feel that leaving at least Stormfur there to grieve as well. Wait, is that his name? I don't remember. And also the beginning as well, when Crowfeather's face pans out of the screen, like the shot is moving away from him, like closer to uh, Stormfur. I feel that Stormfur in the background should have also been moved closer to the camera. I'm still impressed by the tweening with Stormfur running. It's hard at least for me doing the tweening limb by limb like that. Overall, this is a beautiful impactful map part, so great job on it. Next is Snow Foxy Doggo's Good Times map part. On a fall line late night, underneath the stars we came alive. I'm glad to see this because I love how this map's turning out and I hope it gets finished soon. I feel like you may want to reference some pictures of how grass should be colored because there are random splotches like this one in this shot that don't really fit with the rest of it. I'm also pretty impressed with your patience because I get bored after drawing maybe like five characters in one shot. If I were to draw a picture with me and all of my friends hanging out like this, I'd get to the line art at the max and then throw it out. Another bit of criticism would be the walking at the beginning. I find that a lot of artists and animators have this problem when they try to squish all the movement into that shot, like keeping all four legs in there. This sketch I created shows the front paws leaving before the back paws come onto the scene. An alternative would be having just the front paws step forward and then a camera pan up to the face, which would make for a great transition to the next shot. Of course, you may also want to focus a little bit on your anatomy, but that'll come with practice. Here is the Sparrow Cura Things Winter Sound Map. Right off the bat, I love the run cycle in the backgrounds and how you added even the disruption of the snow as the paws hit the ground. There is a lot of attention to detail with this. My only thing after the camera pan is it kind of looks like his paws aren't even moving with his legs to hit the ground. Although I guess he's running in on an incline. I'm sure what I'm doing is borderline nitpickery. I also feel that the camera pan does disturb the flow of the scene, but I also don't know how to solve that or explain it. It looks more like it moves at an angle instead of around, I guess. I don't know the proper term for it. Still, this is beautifully detailed and I don't really have much to criticize. Next is Altain Doodle's Spirits Map. The way the ears flop with the head move really emphasizes the entire animation. I think you mentioned to me how you're aware of the occasional color glitch, and I won't pick on that because that happens to everyone at some point. It's not skill-based. No matter how many times you may look through it, no matter how many times you watch through, there's always the possibility of a miscolored inner ear or <coughs> a shirt changing to a slightly lighter color in just one single frame. It's one of those things that, as an animator, makes you want to throw yourself out of a window. The movements are really smooth and match with the pace of the song, and I love watching the time-lapse process you included. Watching others progress is always interesting to me. My one note is in this scene, the body is a little disproportional compared to the head, which tends to happen sometimes when you animate the head on a different layer from the body. Also, guys, Altain only has 27 subscribers, so please go check them out. The final part I will be reviewing this episode is Hills to Climb made by Cinnamon. <laughs> The only error 
I see is at the end where Holly Leaf is holding the mouse in one frame and then not in the next. I'm guessing she either dropped it or sucked it into her body from sheer surprise at being complimented by Squirrel Flight, in which case I can relate. Kimi, I love your hair. <coughs> Just make sure you keep things consistent. Really, that's the only thing that comes to my mind. I love the lightheartedness of this map part. Please keep it up. So yeah, I hope you like this. I'm trying to get them out as fast as I can. I hope you all have a great day or night wherever you are. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!